Hello, welcome back. DJ Vic Vapor again, Logic Pro 10. And we're going over the LCD. In the previous lesson, we kind of broke it down and showed you the various uh, elements that are available to us there. But uh, as you remember in a couple lessons previous, if we're out here in the open, when we control click, we get this customized control bar display. We can open that up. And now we've got LCD right here. It's kind of grayed out, and that's because we're currently in the Beats in Project mode. If we open this uh, drop down menu and select Custom, now we can actually go in here and customize the LCD itself. You can add sample rate, vary speed, and things of that nature. So if you want sample rate on, you can actually change the sample rate from right here within the uh, LCD. And you can take away, you know, signature division. You can take away things maybe you don't necessarily feel are um, important for your uh, workflow. And that is a quick and easy way to customize the LCD. One of the things I noticed, I kind of forgot to mention that I really like, and it's kind of cool, is when you're in this mode, this custom mode, and you're looking at CPU and hard disk, if you double click these, you get this nice little floating window. So here it's going to show you your CP, CPU strain, and it's going to show you your disk I.O., which is your hard disk strain for your project. Kind of important to keep an eye on. You don't want anything to freeze up on you or crash. And again, just double clicking gives you a nice little floating window if you want to keep it out here. You know, you're pushing the limits of what uh, what you normally do, easy way to keep an eye on it without having to peek up top all the time. So that is customizing the LCD. So let's move on to the next lesson.